guys welcome back to another episode of m creator lore so today what we're going to be working on is the mechanics for the different types of percents for the weeds and the rocks so there's a few things that we need to set up first uh, the first thing that we're going to need is to enable the inventory so we can use mbt data and then basically what i'm going to do is i'm going to disable these two boxes down here just so we can have everything set up the same. I'm going to go through all of these different blocks. Uh, there's 25 of them and I'm going to update all the settings. And also I actually just realized that I'm going to need a tick rate as well. So I'm going to set this tick rate to one. And once I have that all set up, then I can move on. All right. So in game, I just wanted to test uh, basically what time the player um, joins the world and basically what time they wake up. So I did some research also on Minecraft Wiki and it's roughly um, at zero zero when they wake up. So basically that will be the time that we want to get for the um, script here. So basically what I'm going to do for every time that they wake up in the world or go to bed and wake up or a new day starts is basically at one tick after zero. Uh, like I said, I, the zero zero is exactly when they wake up. I'm going to basically have the event to take place. So inside this event, I want to make sure that um, basically a timer well it's not really a timer but it's going to be a counter for every day and what I'm going to do is I want this to be set to um, this is particularly the level right so we're going to need the level set to equal to or less than four uh, or three pardon me and then what we need is basically our counter. I think I called it a timer though, which kind of makes sense because it has to do with the Minecraft time. And basically I'm going to set that to zero. So basically when the player goes ahead and um, it reaches zero, then what I want to do is, or if it's greater than zero, I want to make sure that the time goes and decreases. But if the time is basically from the um, not zero or if it's equal to zero, then what I want to do is I want to make sure that it will go ahead and uh, set something up. So basically like run the script. Now with this, I just kind of rearranged some of the parts here. I just want to make sure that it was running a little bit more efficiently. So for example, with the uh, equal to or less than zero, that was going to be more focused around decreasing the timer. I, I had it a little bit worked around backwards. So uh, basically what will happen is it will increase the level um, if the level is less than or equal to or less than three. And then if the timer is zero, that's when that happens. But if it's not zero, then I want to decrease the value for the timer. So we're going to need one for the weeds and then we're going to need one for the rocks as well. So these are going to be independent timers. And we also uh, set the time for the timer reset in the script there. You might have noticed that it's a low number. This is 14 days, not 14 ticks. So um, that's rocks and then seven days for the um, weeds as well. So those are the two different times. So we're going to need to make a few different um, procedures for uh, something else. This next thing that I need to work on is going to be a little bit more time consuming. Uh, so I'm going to probably cut out after I show you guys basically what I'm going to be making. So we're going to need uh, to get the timer and we're going to need to get the or not the timer the um, the level for the weeds and the, the level for the rocks as well. And for each 25 of the blocks, I basically need to integrate a block state 
to basically update to. So this is basically going to take a really long time to do. So I'm going to go ahead and just use the magic of editing and then we can basically go ahead and um, have it all done in just a matter of moments. So basically, again, what I'm doing is I'm just searching for the the type of thing. I'm setting the the type for the um, for the weed level and the rock level and then I'm applying it to that step. So I'll cut back in when I have it ready. All right, so the magic of editing, we got all of it done. So we can go ahead and move on to the next thing. Uh, basically, this will need to be run when there needs to be a block state change when something changes. So for example, when this um, timer goes and resets, we want to make sure that that particular procedure updates so we can get the new block state and I'm sure we'll need it uh, later on as well when we're working on some other stuff so there's also let's see we haven't really made use of the block added we're going to actually go ahead and create a new one for the farmland and we need to set these variables uh, that we basically set for the um, the update tick so the uh, level and the levels for the weeds levels for the rocks and we also need um, the timer for both of them as well so I'm just going to copy these variables and I want to set the default value for the base scheme like the base farmland when we actually hoe the land so it sets up all the variables automatically and that way we know exactly what values they actually start at and it gives it a, a base property to start with so we don't need to worry about the the timer not working because the variables don't exist or anything like that all right so that part's done uh we still need to do some things uh the next thing that i needed to do was basically go ahead and make a right click event so there's still some work that needs to be done on this right click event but i wanted to get the mechanics up for actually removing the um the weeds and the um stones as well as the rocks so basically what i am working on now is just basically getting that system set up we will need to come back uh, when we add our first crop to adjust this a little bit um, but there's also some other things that I'll need to make sure that are set up, for example, damage and stuff as well to the tool in our main hand. Uh, that's kind of needed. I noticed that wasn't working when we were right clicking on the block itself. So we're going to definitely need to set something up for that, uh, in the next episode. But, um, other than that, I just needed the level for the weeds and for the rocks so that's basically what I'm sitting here so basically what it's doing is it's detecting a specific tool and then it's going to basically decrease the level by one and it's only going to do that if the level is above zero so um, very basic script so now that we have that set up uh, we can go ahead in game I think and test see how it all works and hopefully everything works properly. So I'm just going to go over these, just check everything. So all 25 are there. All right, in game, I have a timer set up so we can kind of watch the crops and the rocks kind of grow, or not the crops, the weeds. So overall, um, it takes like seven days for an update to happen, right? So when you see these updates, the weeds will grow first and then the rocks will kind of grow in second. And, um, okay, so we're already at maximum uh, weed level. Uh, my plans for weeds is you'll be able to make a uh, weed killer uh, when there's crops on the block, and that will affect the um, the actual crop, like the, the actual weeds themselves. But you, when the crop is basically on the block it, you won't be able to use the hoe or the shovel it just kind of makes sense because it's a very destructive way of getting rid of weeds so we will um, use weed killer instead later on 
but that will allow you to do an area of maybe like five by five or something like that to kill the weeds with. And um, yeah, this is just my uh, experimental timer that I have set up here. So basically those are all the rocks and stuff. So it does uh, increase over time like it should. And um, I'm just gonna test, maybe under the right tab, uh, basically get me a hoe. And it doesn't look like anything's happening and I think I know why. So going back into the script of uh, tile, and or tilled soil and basically I forgot to update the uh, block state when I was doing this so basically what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to remove these block states so they reset and now that I have done that we can basically go ahead and test this method and you kind of see that it will get rid of each um, block uh, as we right click on the soil itself so that works really well and we can use a shovel to get rid of the rocks so that will lower the rock count so that's in working order we can now basically go ahead and uh, work towards getting a couple extra things set up next episode so uh, one of the things that I want to move towards is the crop um, composite. So basically what kind of material the, the soil is. So basically either it's a lot more sand in it or more clay. Some crops depend on certain types of material. But that's for another episode. We'll probably have to make clay first. And I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out. Thank <laughs> you.